Hey, I forgot to show you how uh, papers worked, so I'm just going to give you a little video real quick and see uh, how it shows. This is the first time I'm trying to do a podcast type recording, but anyway. Um, so in the papers, right now I'm just using it for PDF. Um, yeah, I keep track of my PDFs and a couple other small documents, but any document can be added, and any document can really be found on the net. Use some cool search functions as well. But in the... Uh, in the papers, I have chose to import just a couple PDFs, and you do that by choosing uh, uh, add a PDF file, and then you go to wherever you have your PDFs. They can be either books in PDF format or just documents, scans, whatever you want to keep track of. Um, I'm sure there's a tutorial that shows you how to do a lot more cooler stuff, but this is just what I've done so far. So I added them in here, and then in here you can use them for uh, you could you could uh, read them. Uh, you can do full screen reading. Um, you can do uh, just window window reading. There's a, I'm looking forward to using this just you know for reading the PDFs that I already have, but also maybe keeping track of my bills. A lot of different stuff seems like a pretty cool place to keep track of of, uh, of all the all the files. It doesn't have to be PDFs. It can be you know Word documents, media. There's video. There's all kinds of stuff that can be added to it. So. Anyway, I'm looking forward to, to uh, messing around with it a little bit more, and I'll tell you what I, what I find out. Um, like I said, I read a lot of these PDFs on my iPad, too, so it's just whether I'm, not, whether I'm in front of the Mac or the, I, or the iPod or iPad, then uh, that'll be the one I'm reading from. But I'm thinking about just keeping this to keep track of the stuff so I know where I have all my PDFs that I'm saving, saving for uh, later. Okay, that was it. See you.